Twinchesters. And this is our Doctor Who review, which was episode 11 called Heaven Sent, and it is probably the most confusing episode of this season. It takes, it takes a bit to really figure out what's going on. So it pretty much takes place right after the last one, right. which he gets teleported by Ash, by a Ash. shoulder. I was going to call her Astrid for some reason. Wrong, wrong <laughs> character. <laughs> to this castle thingy. It's pretty much the yes, best way to describe it. That's it's basically. an old timey looking castle, but with like modern day televisions in it. Like really tiny flat screens, just all over the walls. Yeah, they're like, um, like security screens. It's kind of, they kind of look like security cameras. That was yeah. my first thought when they popped up. And it's basically the doctor trying to figure out what this place is. And pretty quickly you realize that it's a place of his worst yeah. nightmare. It's like his own personal hell. And there's he this it. thing coming after him very, very slowly. Yes. Yeah. And he finds out eventually that in order for this thing to stop following him, he has to reveal something that he normally wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. Or like a truth or something like <laughs> the, the first time it comes to him. He says he's scared Yes, he, it's, it's he admits that he's scared. He has to confess something something And so now that I know what happens in the episode that kind of should have been weird a huge No, I that, that did not <laughs> I did not register at all It was um, just like you're foolish. You're like what in God's name is going on? Yeah, he's because he's in a continuous time loop. So it's it's basically things kind of become repetitive well, as yeah, he's figuring same. out what's going on. Yeah, every the castle moves and every time the castle moved it would reset itself. Right. So and like say he like to... digged a hole, the hole would be back to normal. Dug a hole? He said dig. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If he dug a hole, sorry. <laughs> if the castle moved, the hole like the dirt would be back in the hole. Right. Yeah, everything just and what I thought was really cool was that every time he'd be stuck in a situation that he doesn't think he can get out of, you kind of saw like his mind palace yeah. trying to figure it out uh -huh. with like a faceless Clara. Yeah, she was really creepy. Like all you see is the back of her and he'll say, okay teacher, you know, yeah. ask me a question. And you see like her. Yeah, I, I like that because instead of like, you know, this is stuff that Clara would be yelling at him, you know, yeah. if she was still alive. He was like, still kind of yeah. like in the mindset that she's there and that's what helped him yeah. piece everything together. And she pretty much just kept saying, win, win. And he was like, how? Yeah. He he gets to a point where he's like, why? Why do I always have to win? Why can't I just lose? Why is it always me? Like, why can't this just be it? And that's just, oh God, it broke my heart. And he's like, no matter what I do, she never will be back. Yeah, he's like, no matter, basically, yeah, he's like, no matter what I do, you'll still be gone. And oh. he just has a moment of defeat. Right. And then her little like a ghosty thing told him to get off his ass. Yeah, I'll say it is, it is <laughs> mine, pretty much. There was a Clara in there being like, get off your ass and win. She pretty much said that. She was like, get off your ass and, and win. And win. Yeah, so that was nice. And so that, that gave him the oomph. Yeah, that gets him to a giant diamond wall. <laughs> yeah. When he proceeds to punch, I thought it was like he, he, he goes through all like the dimensions of it and how it was impossible to get through, but yet he just keeps punching it. I'm like, Doctor, you're listening to yourself. You're saying it's impossible to get through, so punching it won't help. <laughs> and you come to realize that he basically is dying and then coming back to life like repeatedly yeah. through like this little machine thing. Like the machine he came in. Yeah, so you think it's a teleportation machine, but it's not exactly. Like it re. There's like a. There's a hard copy of his his DNA and persona in this machine, and he has to, as he's dying, he has to hook himself up to it to remake a new him. So he's constantly dying and coming back to life, and slowly punching through this diamond, like yeah. harder than yeah, diamond apparently. wall. This goes on for millions of years. Like he yeah. just keeps continuously going. Like once it gets to that point, you're like, okay this kind of makes sense now. Even though yeah. it was still confusing, you're like, okay, but you're like, how is he gonna get out of this? Like, how does he possibly get out of this? Because the whole punching, it's a very, obviously, it's a very, very slow and process. tedious process, so you kind of don't see it at first, and then you slowly see, okay, he's getting further and further into the wall. Because he knows 
freedom is that like you know he, something something's on the other side he I thinks thought, it's the TARDIS yeah let's say he I originally thought it was the TARDIS he originally thought it was the TARDIS yes but then the final punch through disintegrates the uh veiled veil portion yeah, behind him, him and he comes out into like this desert and you're like oh desert yeah and you realize the whole time he was trapped inside his confession bag. Yeah, it kind of like shrinks back to his normal size and he's holding it and I'm like, you slimy doctor. Yeah. And then a kid shows up because there's kids everywhere. <laughs> I like what he said though. He was like, tell them I'm here. Tell them I know what they did. Mm -hmm. And that he's coming. And that he's coming. And he goes, <laughs> he's like, if, if they ask, I took a long way around. Yeah. And then you turn around, dun 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 dun, Gallifrey! <laughs> and you're like, what? Yeah, so he's now at Gallifrey, and they're like, how? He's Doctor Who. I mean, come on. How did he get to Gallifrey? I'm just so confused. Um, but what he mentions in the episode is like, there there are confessions that he cannot say no matter yes. what. And apparently there's a prophecy about a hybrid that's half Dalek, half Time Lord. And he does a little monologue as the kid's running to the city. And he's like, you you read the prophecy wrong. There is no half Dalek, half time Lord. Half time the Daleks would never allow the that. The Daleks, yeah, the Daleks would never allow that. The hybrid is me. And I'm like, okay, well, he's the hybrid. He's what's a going on? Gallifrey. What is he a hybrid of? Maybe like, maybe the hybrid was just a word that they used. It didn't actually mean hybrid. Okay, yeah, maybe they translated it incorrectly. Yeah, because he said the prophecy was wrong. Yeah. So maybe they just thought it was a hybrid. Cause there's no, like, I thought, when originally they said there was a Dalek Time Lord hybrid, I thought that'd be a really interesting story. Yeah, that would've been really cool. But, it, like, how did that happen? <laughs> yeah, but he's right, the Dalek, that would never be allowed. Yeah, they would that's, what, I, that's why I was so curious about yeah. it. I was like, how would that have happened? Next episode's called Hellbent, which sounds fantastic. Yeah. So, shit's about to go down in Gallifrey. Yeah. And that's the season finale. And then the Christmas episode. With River, and I'm so excited. I love her. I still don't understand the romance, but I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's great. She's fantastic. <laughs> Alright guys, we would love to know what you guys thought about the episode in the comments down below. And if you have any, you know, ideas about why he's in Gallifrey. How I want, he's in Yeah, how is he in Gallifrey? <laughs> I, I need to figure this out. <laughs> Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.